originally i really wanted to go in the car and film this video but my dad was like oh i shouldn't go alone because it's dangerous so i'm doing it out here and i feel like it's so much better i feel like that was divine intervention today's thanksgiving by the way happy thanksgiving guys i really wanted to do a video on thanksgiving talking about everything that i'm grateful for in my life because number one gratitude is the attitude and two it's just i'm very emotionally vulnerable on my channel and oftentimes that means like sharing a lot of the low moments of my life but it's like not an accurate representation of how i truly feel about my life and just you know like the grand scheme of things i just like being vulnerable in the moment i'm so grateful for this view literally this view with the sunset and my dad fishing this has been the year where i have been tested the most there was just like a lot of healing that has been done this year and like not a lot of outward movement when it comes to success despite the lack of conventional success that i've seen in my life i honestly feel so abundant within and i think it's because my life up to this point is an accumulation of all of the choices that i have made heart-based choices that i have made for like the past four years i'm not you know working right now i'm not i'm not quote unquote working right now oh my god the funny thing is like yesterday or like a few days ago when i went to my college my acquaintances were asking me oh like how's postgrad like what are you up to now i literally just tell them i'm unemployed and i don't do anything but like my full-time job is youtube i just don't get money from it yet my life has been very routine past whitney if she were living my life right now she would have been itching to make moves itching to like be anywhere except for the present moment and i was thinking about it and like that's really not how i want to live my life from a place of oh like what i have right now isn't enough that is why universe is making me have this dull period of my life before like the success and like the chaos that comes with this success like really take off into my life because if i entered my peak youtube journey without any experience of knowing what it's like to genuinely genuinely enjoy the munda mundane things in life then if i were successful on youtube i would literally be on another type of rat race yes be doing my dream job but i wouldn't be living my dream life because i didn't learn the foundations of how to actually be mindful how to actually be grateful for the things that i have right now i don't want to ever ever live like that because yes i'm ambitious yes there are so many goals that i'm working towards but like my life right now is so beautiful like literally so beautiful and uh, the fact that i'm healthy the fact that my loved ones are healthy the fact that i have a strong emotional support system like i love my friends the fact that i got like hobbies on point and the fact that i am living this reality as whitney the host is me i am truly so grateful and like that is like what i really wanted this youtube video to be about all of the things that i'm grateful for about myself because it's hard to appreciate life when you don't even like your own vessel when you don't even like yourself every day i just find another reason to just praise myself and to just worship the type of per the person that i'm becoming i'm just so grateful that number one i am thriving right now because of my perspective if it wasn't for my perspective and it wasn't for me constantly letting go of old narratives and beliefs then would i really be happy right now past winnie would have had the victim mentality if she lived this life you know she would have been like oh my god how come i don't see any movement on like youtube how come like the breakup had to happen i know that everything happens for a reason and i know that it happens for me i think another thing i'm so grateful about is my faith for the universe my faith that I'm going to be successful and not in just like monetary ways, but just I'm going to live a life that fulfills my soul a hundred percent. Life is too short to constantly have a belief that you don't like your reality. It's way too short. And the easiest way to go around it is, okay, yeah, these are not the cards that I am that fond of, but what is it teaching me? And why is this the best thing that has ever happened to me? I just love how Whitney has a growth mindset, willing to shed old skin and let go of dead leaves that no longer serve me i'm just so happy that i have like learned the lesson in the past of what it means to open my hand up and let go of my grip of trying to control things and just let universe show me what's actually meant to stay and what's not this year more than ever especially the fall of 2022 
it has been a very big theme of divine intervention there has been a lot of things that i've been letting go of or just like falling out of my life and there's just like been resistance in a few things in my in my life at this moment and i have realized universe is trying to protect me in one way or not and the faith that i have has been keeping me afloat and not only afloat but thriving literally thriving i'm not happy every day i'm not happy every single day but i am able to find peace and contentment between the highs and lows Another thing that I'm like so so super grateful about is my breakup. Isn't that ironic that something tragic or unfortunate or undesirable is the reason why I'm so happy right now? Not because of the other party not being my life or anything like that, but it's because y'all know about my codependency issues. Y'all know about how it's hard, it was hard for me in the past to you know fill my own cup up when it comes to other guys being in my life like i would just like put them on the pedestal and like value the relationship over my dreams and my purpose etc but i feel like this most recent breakup has been like the ultimate ultimate catalyst when it comes to me learning how to be by myself and i think that's why i'm so happy these days because i've just been enjoying my alone time so much so so much and i'm not running away from my thoughts sometimes bro sometimes my thoughts get too much you know like i'm literally fighting imaginary people in my head getting riled up over something that does not exist and there are constantly hypothetical scenarios playing out i don't know who said this but they use a metaphor of the brain to the ocean and how the brain thinks just just like how the ocean makes waves <laughs> and it just doesn't stop so frustrating though my god it's so frustrating and it's so endless it's, it's so endless well okay so here we're talking about it's endless thoughts are endless they're like waves of the ocean the ocean shouldn't have waves dude <laughs> you have water you have waves you have a mind it has mind waves uh, where what's what's the real problem i'm just so grateful for myself because i feel like if i didn't have the mindset that i that i have now then i would have fallen into a spiral so many times i know at this chapter of my life that it is like my number one priority to make sure that i am filling my own cup up and if that means you know like being consistent with my sleeping schedule throughout the weekends if it means going to the gym journaling and meditating even though i feel like i don't want to i really do take care of myself super super well and i'm just so grateful that i get to live the life as me <laughs> also these days i'm finding a lot of joy at living at home surprisingly which is super super contradictory to how i thought before i graduated college i remember before i graduated my perspective on home was like oh this is place is horrible like it doesn't help me grow i need to leave my hometown asap um my parents are controlling like etc etc now i'm getting to the point where i'm just really grateful to be living with my parents and to be living in my hometown i think it's because i know that nothing is permanent you know my parents aren't going to, going to be here for much longer either every time i talk about death on this channel like i don't know how it impacts you guys but it makes me a little sad to talk about it but i feel like the more this topic is avoided or suppressed and not thought about like that is when we're really living a lie because everyone dies you know everything that is born dies and we shouldn't forget that we should really have that be something that we are aware of so that we could use the idea the act of death to motivate us to live a life that truly resonates with us i think my dad is picking up packing up now so maybe i think i'll continue this video at home honestly i'm getting really fucking cold too oh it was so nice talking to you guys i'll see you guys a little later I'm really good at communicating. I have really grown to appreciate my communication skills and how I'm 
always down to speak my truth in a way that's compassionate and loving. Me speaking my truth and not being afraid of other people's opinions is a reason why I feel so confident in myself because I know that I will always have my back. I know that I won't let myself cower, hide in a corner just because of other people. The need of for being liked by everyone is still something that I'm working on but I feel like I've been having a few experiences here and there over the past few months where I'm coming to terms with the idea that not everyone, with the fact that not everyone will like you for no apparent reason or maybe there is a reason but like I know at the end of the day that everything is constantly a projection and how I view other people too is a projection too which leads to my second thing of how self-aware I am. It's crazy because I feel like my self-awareness level just goes up week after week after week and no one has to check me, no one has to hold my shoulders and like wiggle my body <laughs> and, and tell me, yo Whitney, look at your behavior, look at your actions. These things have to change for you to live a better life, for you to become better because I'm constantly doing that for myself. I don't need an accountability buddy when it comes to just growth and choosing the better decision because I got my back. Once again, I got my back. What I'm about to talk about is one of my favorite things about myself. And I've been really cultivating this area of my personality a lot ever since postgrad because that is just what feels the best to me, which is connecting more to my heart, connecting more to love and seeing whether or not I'm acting from a place of ego and judgment and bitterness and hurt fear or just love trust gratitude and forgiveness right this is a journey that is going to be happening for the rest of my life but i love that i have just initiated myself into a journey that is kind of hard and not typical especially at my age i'm only 22 but already at this point, I am self-aware enough to realize that the actions that come from judgment and like all those things that I listed before, it's just from unhealed aspects of myself and I want to do better. If I know better, then I want to do better. And if I don't know better, and if there is a better way, then I want to learn and integrate that. From my whole journey of becoming closer with myself and just spirituality it becomes so apparent what the patterns are that are appearing in my life for example the codependent pattern me being codependent in my romantic relationships it has appeared in every single one of my romantic relationships or situationships i am aware enough to realize that it's not going to be fixed just because i find another person it's only going to be fixed if I hold myself accountable and see what areas of my belief system creates that type of reality where I am codependent, like what part of me thinks that I am not able to fill my own cup up and be fulfilled and content on my own. I'm able to look at the patterns, the cycles and break out of them. I know I won't let it drag out unnecessarily by turning a blind eye to it or being in denial. I think I really prioritize growth. Yes, I prioritize growth so much to the point where it feels like I'm very rapidly outgrowing the people who are currently in my life and just like moving on and like looking out into the horizon and seeing and wondering, when is my soul tribe coming? When is my soul tribe coming to my life? And I don't know what I would do if I didn't have a host, a vessel like Whitney. I love Whitney so much. Literally like my best friend. Whitney, I am my number one best friend. I would not know what I would do without me. Okay, this is the last thing that I'm going to talk about because I feel like there are an infinite number of things that I love about myself. <laughs> I love how I know my worth and that I will never settle. I won't stay in situations, I won't stay in friendships, I won't stay in relationships, I won't stay in any environment where I have outgrown just because of comfort. Stagnancy is the number one no-no for me. Like I do not want to stay stagnant. I always want to be evolving and growing. Not because I think that my present reality isn't enough, but it's just because I know I deserve the very best. I love how I don't let fear dictate my choices. 
I'm just cheesing because my love language is words of affirmation, so hearing it from myself, it just sounds and feels equally as good as if I heard it from another person, you know what I mean? Don't underestimate what your own perception of yourself could do for yourself. <laughs> Lots of self, but yes. Thank you guys for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so, so, so grateful for this community. I'm so grateful for YouTube. I'm so grateful for just this whole thing that I'm creating. And thank you for co-creating with me. Thank you for being a part of my reality. I'll see you guys in my next video.